The Maltese is classified by the American Kennel Club as a toy dog breed and has been around for over 300 years. And because of their ancient history, there are many questions surrounding their origins. However, what we do know is that the Maltese breed eventually found its way to England in the 1500s and then to the United States of America in 1877 and was subsequently recognized by the American Kennel Club in 1888. Furthermore, the breed was bred to be companion pets and is becoming increasingly popular, so much so that out of 195 dog breeds, the Maltese was ranked 38 as the most popular dog breed in the year 2020 by the American Kennel Club. Maltese dogs are described as playful, charming, affectionate, and adaptable, all the traits you would want in a companion pet. Moreover, the Maltese weight is approximately 7 pounds or less, and a healthy Maltese personality remains the same regardless of age, which means you'll always have a puppy-like pet if you own a Maltese. However, we know that there are pros and cons to owning most pets, and unfortunately the Maltese is no exception. So let's take a look at 5 pros and 5 cons of owning a Maltese dog. But. Before we get into the furry details, if you love pets, especially cats and dogs, then our channel is precisely about that. So don't forget to subscribe to get your weekly dose of pet content. I love animals and I will do my very best to bring you accurate information in all my videos. Now let's begin. Here are the five pros. Number one, they are portable. Needless to say, because of their size, a Maltese will be easy to transport. In addition, a Maltese usually meets the size requirement to be permitted in places that have dog size restrictions. Furthermore, they are light and can be easily picked up, making a Maltese a perfect pet for seniors or individuals who are experiencing certain mobility health issues. Plus, do you like to travel everywhere with your dog? If so, consider a Maltese. They are small enough to be allowed on planes and can easily fit in a dog carrier that will not be too strenuous to carry around. Number 2. Their Temperament The Maltese sweet, charming, affectionate, loyal, and friendly demeanor makes the breed a perfect companion pet for almost anyone who has the time to love and care for a pet old or young, single individuals or families. However, it is important to keep in mind that because the breed was bred to be cuddly companions, they have an innate desire to always be close to and snuggle up with their owners and the people they love. Number 3. Their Trainability even a small Maltese dog needs to be trained and have established boundaries. Therefore, obedience training is crucial and should start the moment your puppy arrives home. Remember, obedience training not only helps to establish good manners, but it also strengthens the bond between you and your Maltese. What's the pro, you may ask? Well, the pro is that a Maltese responds very well to positive reinforcement and reward-based training. So strategies including praise, food, play, and encouragement should work well with your Maltese. However, it is important to watch your Maltese to see which motivation works best for him. Number 4. They are low shedders. Yes, as per the American Kennel Club, the Maltese is considered a low-shedding dog. Additionally, even though no dog is considered 100% hyperallergenic, a Maltese produces way less dander than other dogs and is a safer option for individuals with pet allergies. Keep in mind though that it is always recommended that you do an allergy test around the dog prior to making a final commitment. Number 5. Adaptability because of their small size and easygoing demeanor, a Maltese dog generally adapts well to living in various settings, including small spaces such as apartments. Having said that though, a Maltese does not require large outdoor spaces to run around or exercise, which is beneficial for those who don't have access to a backyard or fenced lawn. 
Furthermore, a Maltese can keep himself busy by playing within the home, and occasionally daily walks are usually enough to keep a Maltese mentally and physically healthy. Now, here are the five cons. Number one, keeping their white coat clean. A long-haired or short-haired Maltese white coat can get dirty rather quickly. Even if your Maltese is mostly an indoor pet, the breed is prone to tear stains, which will be more pronounced on a Maltese white coat. Therefore, you will constantly see the stain and be tempted to wipe around the eye area, perhaps a bit more than you have to. If tear stain is excessive, consult your vet. Moreover, when a Maltese eats, his white coat could develop food stains or residue around the mouth area. So these are all factors that you would need to consider. Number two, they are prone to temperature sensitivity. Regardless of where you live, a Maltese sensitivity to weather is something to consider as the breed generally experiences some discomfort with either extreme cold or extreme hot or damp weather conditions. So if applicable, you should exercise caution when taking them outside. Needless to say, it is very important for Maltese to be taught how to go to the bathroom inside so that they don't have to go outside in bad weather. Furthermore, if it is quite chilly and your Maltese has to go outside, a sweater will help to keep it warm. Number three, a Maltese is not recommended for small children. If you're buying instead of adopting, bear in mind that some breeders avoid selling Maltese puppies to families with toddlers and small children. Due to their size, smaller kids could potentially cause harm to a Maltese puppy by overhandling it as a toy and overpampering. Number four, a Maltese is prone to separation anxiety. A Maltese loves attention and craves affection from his human family, which is a plus. But this causes a Maltese to be prone to separation anxiety. So if you plan to leave your Maltese for extended periods of time, do not get the spree. Maltese are companion dogs that require human interaction in order to thrive. Number five, they are barkers. One downside to owning a Maltese is their propensity for barking. Maltese dogs bark frequently for a variety of reasons, including boredom, separation anxiety, excitement, and when something unusual occurs. However, a Maltese can be trained to stop barking on demand, which can be extremely useful for individuals who live in apartments or close quarters and want to limit dog barking for the sake of neighbors. Maltese are charming, playful, and devoted lap dogs and are generally low maintenance pets once you develop a routine and style for their grooming needs. Would you like to add to our pros and cons list? Tell us in the comments section below and please support our channel by subscribing to receive more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.